Scorpio men, welcome back to Wills Cartomancy Tarot. What I'd like to go on and do for you gentlemen is to go on and give you a reading which is valid until the end of the month of the predominant female or um, females that I kind of see coming towards you from now until the end of the month. I've decided, gentlemen, to go on and use my Lenormand's deck as already shuffled and illustrated as you see here. In addition to using a, a few additional oracle based cards. To just give you a bit more parting advice into your situation. Okay, gentlemen, you know the drill. If you have yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. If the reading resonates, you know, it while we go through it, go on and give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so let's go on and get started with me making a few uh, general observations uh, regarding uh, the women here. Because I do see multiple gentlemen. Uh, they appear to be very difficult, you know, kind of high maintenance. I'm seeing a very high maintenance type female who uh, is very draining, you know, moody and depressed all the time. and Seems to be in a bit of a crisis or she's hurt or um, somewhat lonely, you know. I'm also feeling that she is family oriented and for some of you, she may even be a housewife and very, very, you know, business um, savvy. That I'm kind of getting here, but from examining those cards. So, gentlemen, what I first like to do is to go on and just look at perhaps what you have experienced already with this woman and to see where you're headed, okay? So, we're going to go on and get started with just looking at this bottom card here to get that one out of the way here. We have that market card, okay? And that um, represents an air type sign, you know, a Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius. And it says that this woman or the women that you might be um, have some type of interest in uh, appear to be a bit career oriented. You know, I'm kind of feeling. And it also says, gentlemen, that you are in fact contemplating making a major change romantically. It appears, and this card therefore says that you know, gentlemen, get ready because a big change is certainly about to commence that I'm seeing here, particularly in your romantic realm. So again, let's go on and first um, examine. You know your past just so, so that I can kind of get a sense of you know where you came from and to see where you had it so what we're gonna do we're gonna examine these batch of cards here first and I'm just gonna create a story with these uh, cards here so I'm kind of feeling gentlemen it certainly appears to be a woman um, uh, perhaps who uh, has uh, returned as as if to have a low, last go around I'm feeling a woman I'm feeling from your past or perhaps you've had previous dealing but looking at the past, I see a a separation or a divorce that might have occurred. A very painful um, one that it appears. It, it seems to have occurred between, you know, in your situation, there might have been another man or something that's, that was in the picture that I'm feeling, you know. And this ending seems to have occurred due to, as I said, an intrusion of either an ex-lover or another man, as I already suggested, who appears slim to me. You know, and I'm feeling that there was a lot of, it looks like with these cards, a lot of betrayal and cheating. You know, I'm also picking up on a slender built female that perhaps might have been connected in the picture. Okay, so let's go on and just see what might be possible for you in the future. And then we're going to go back through and just examine each individual card here. So these are your cards that represent the future, okay? So blending those meanings that suggest to me that in the future I see a lot of challenges, um, gentlemen, that you still have to face with, you know, this woman, you know, which for some of you, it could even potentially be a separation again. And for those of you who are, in fact, single, you know, I kind of see you going out, perhaps maybe going out on a bad date or something that that might happen, you know. However, despite your challenges, Gemini, Gemini, I'm feeling that I do see you, in fact, still like connecting with another or perhaps even with another woman again who kind of returned from your past. And this woman I'm feeling might even, um, I'm kind of picking up also a heavier set type woman who will, in fact, want to, you know, kind of settle down with you guys. So let's go on and get started and just review your you know, your individual cards here. We'll start there where these are cards once again uh, representing your past. So we have that coffin card there. And with that card, German, Pluto is its ruler. 
And it connects with fire signs, okay? It's Leos, Aries, and Sagittarius. So it certainly shows that this woman has a very, you know, I'm feeling a very low self-esteem. And I'm feeling very, you know, black or, you know, dark um, type features when I'm picking up here. Even long black hair. You know, she might even have ended or even lost her job in some way. And, German, it could be quite plausible that even some of you, even you or, or her, you might even work in some type of a funeral type um, environment. I'm also getting there, too. But rest assured, gentlemen, with this coffin card there, it certainly, you know, denotes a lot of negative events and, you know, alterations that seem to crop up. It's almost like forcing you to probably give up on something that you invested so much time in. And, and it associated with this relationship it certainly shows a you know a painful ending that occurred you know again even for some of you it could have been, been a divorce or in fact just a separation but the situation itself I'm feeling that it was certainly very emotionally draining okay so we know that this card here it either represents you or it represents a man that perhaps she may have dealt with and connecting this uh, with this card it could quite possibly be a man that she knew in the past that she had some dealings like an ex who resurfaced that kind of caused problems here with this snake you see a slender bill type man I'm feeling okay now let's go on and look at this card here uh, we have that snake card so that shows that this woman is in fact career oriented you know she's very sleek I'm feeling sexy you know um, she's she, this woman I'm feeling she has a slim frame you know, and she's a liar, a cheater, and even possibly steals. You know, I'm feeling that she's very hypocritical, manipulative. You know, and with this card, gentlemen, Mars and Uranus rules this card. It is associated with water type signs, okay? Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpios, okay? So let's look at your next card there. We have that cross card, okay? And that card is certainly connected with fire signs, okay? Leos, Aries, and Sagittarius, and it shows that this woman, or one of the women, or perhaps all of the women that seems to be involved in your reading, uh, appear to be a, a bit needy, you know, draining. You know, even with this car, possibly religious and um, kind of reserved, but yet uh, very depressed, I'm feeling, and tired like, because Pluto and Neptune rooms this car, you know, and this woman might even work in a in a religious type facility or even perhaps she might even works with a company with because you have this cross here that has that um, that symbol and its logo or something like that but any event her work environment appears to be a bit challenging I'm feeling and uh, a bit negative than what she would want it to be you know I'm kinda getting here looking there okay and we have this card here the house card okay and of course the moon rules this card, and it's associated with Earth um, signs, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. So that certainly shows, gentlemen, that this woman is family-oriented, confident, introverted, and, uh, again, heavier set. You know, she might even run a family business or does something in real estate, or even she might be uh, uh, a land landlady of some sort, okay? But I'm feeling this woman very financially secure, but she's stubborn and might even be a bit protected. I'm picking up light to medium type hair with this gentleman, okay? So gentlemen, basically, you seem to have a few decisions that you'll be needing to make regarding these cards here. So let's move on and gentlemen and just give you, you know, a bit more pardon advice into your situation. Again, I went on and decided to select um, two additional cards from um, John Holland's um, Psychic Tarot deck and the card the first card I like to examine is choose your battles, gentlemen. So this card is certainly all about, you know, resistance and, you know, conviction. So, gentlemen, this card is kind of suggesting to you or advising you to, to or kind of telling you is that although you're kind of hoping for your relationship to be very harmonious, you know, th th sometimes this isn't always the case in certain situations because, each of you have your own belief to sit, um, belief systems, and it tends to, you know, be diametrically opposed to one another at some times. So what you will find is that both of you might tend to kind of struggle to kind of validate what's kind of important for you. 
So what you might want to do is to kind of change how your, your attitude and perhaps your aggression. And this might allow the other person to kind of back off you. Um, I'm somewhat I'm feeling. Because, you know, when we do have a sense of kind of believing strongly in what we kind of believe in, the outcome usually wouldn't serve us the best because we want to make sure that particularly when you're in a relationship that you kind of talk, you know, your differences out and trying to reach a, a decision before moving on. Okay. And I also wanted to go on and just, um, I selected another card too is this card this time is indicating for you to kind of spread your wings. So this card is all about freedom and, and really kind of making decisions, you know? So it shows that, you know, although you might kind of maybe feel a bit um, comfortable or you might even for some of you even feel safe, it's possible that, you know, feeling this where of being in this position is not re really, really fulfilling the needs that you will want to kind of bring into fruition. Okay. So try to focus, you know, and forget to live up to other people's expectations, you know, do what you feel is kind of best for you. And this would allow you to get out of this restrictive situation that maybe some of you may have been in, you know, so, gentlemen, this is certainly what I all I have for you. And this card, once again, is just, or the reading is really kind of telling you to really listen to your heart and follow what your heart is kind of guiding you. Once again, gentlemen, this reading is valid until the end of the month. Um, if you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. If the reading resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. And I certainly look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.